Welcome to Three Minutes with Art 2. I'm a radiological scientific officer, and this is our nuclear survival complex. In this video, I am going to talk to you about some free or very low cost radiation detection devices. I'm doing so many of our videos from this one position, this couch in our living room, that people are going to start considering me to be the armchair philosopher on the subject of radiation. But there are a number of things that I want to talk here with you about. One of the main things that we're going to do in this video is show you how to build your own radiation detector at home. Just using materials that you have around home costs you nothing to build it. And the radiation detector we're going to show you how to build actually has better performance than many of the very expensive radiation detectors that you can buy commercially on the market. So it isn't a toy in any way. It's high performance. It'll do the job for you. It's very simple to build, relatively speaking. And so we're going to tell you about how to do that. I'm also going to talk about another, some other things here in this video at this time uh, about radiation because there are some other ways that radiation can be detected and there are some radiation detectors that you can buy as an app for your telephone your cell phone I've never actually seen one I've had friends write me about them and say they've gotten them I've asked the lab to test the uh, the thing they say yes it actually works and I haven't heard any great enthusiasm about it from anyone but maybe it's a way to go and you can check it out and they're not expensive uh, some sites actually give them away free and you use your cell phone and uh, it shows a little graph inside this on your cell phone display I don't even own a cell phone so I can't tell you much about this that shows you about the amount of radiation and so it'd be a way to go if your cell phone is working EMP and cell phones I don't know how that's going to work out and you have to have a battery for your cell phone and it's another option that you can consider here's another one that doesn't take batteries this these are uh, just regular fluorescent tubes you can use them you just take them in your hands like this go out and stand under any power line I'm talking about today at night and you'll see these things light up now what they're being lit up by is radiation from the high tension power lines and there are videos on the internet of people doing this uh, it's a well demonstrated phenomena these will light up every time at night under a power line theoretically and of course I've had no way of testing this they'll also light up in the presence of radiation the same ionizing radiation I've seen in the literature that causes them to light up now I'm not going to stand in the presence of such radiation to demonstrate that to you but it's just something to think about if ever your power goes off everywhere and you're sitting there in the dark at night but your fluorescent light tubes have lit up yeah it's pretty indicative that uh, there's radiation present so there's another radi free radiation detector that you have right there in your home not one I'd rely upon and the difficulty with it is it would only tell you about the presence or the non-presence of radiation this next um, little radiation detector is uh, so inexpensive that we are able to give away one with pe to people who buy our team leader kit of books and so this one is called, you can buy them separately too on the internet, but this one is called 
a rad sticker and I have just had to get a new driver's license so I'm about to put on a new rad sticker on the back of my driver's license. Simply take the rad sticker, peel off the backing, and put it on the back of your billfold, uh, back of your um, driver's license uh, at uh, some place where it doesn't cover up any critical information. Just stick it on there, as I have. Now I have a rad sticker on my driver's license. I can put this in my billfold or pocket or wherever, and even in my billfold, the radiation would go right through the billfold if there were radiation present, and you would be able to see uh, the amount of radiation that you had received. And uh, so uh, that is uh, a very useful thing because you always have it with you. You don't have to worry about it. It's just sitting there in your billfold and it's with you. The last one that I'm going to tell you about is really the best of all and it's totally free and we give full instructions on how to build it on our website and I'm just going to show you some details about it. I'm going to explain in a moment here how to build the Kearney fallout meter. Uh, the first one I built 40 years ago worked just fine and I hadn't bothered to build one again until recently and when I tried to do so I was having trouble getting it to work. I tried one thing and another and I couldn't figure out what it was and so finally I called up the fellow who helped Crescent Kearney redesign it and it's in the revised visions uh, of, the, uh, of his book uh, uh, and uh, he explained to me what the problem was. Technology has changed in the last 40 years and all the materials that I was able to get back then such as going to my wife's sewing box and picking up a roll of thread that don't make static thread anymore. All thread today is made non-static fishing lines, same thing, one thing after another, even dental floss, nothing was working for me. But I finally did find the solution, or he told me the solution, I wouldn't have known otherwise, and I'll explain more about it later, but the solution are those garment bags that you get your dry cleaning back in. They cling to everything. They are just the most clingy stuff you can imagine, and they, uh, even to themselves, and so what this stuff is, is uh, uh, the material that you want to use. You can just go to your closet and get a garment bag, or you can, like myself, go down to uh, dry cleaners and pick up a new one. So I folded this all up so I have lots of the material there on hand uh, to make uh, uh, the threads that we use in the Kearney fallout meter. And I'll show you how to do that in a moment here. you for watching and please remember that ARC 2 is not just about your survival it is about the reconstruction of society after its collapse or a nuclear war